Hello everybody and welcome back to Mislingen. So we have got the silage fermenting just here. As you can see it's only on 2% fermented. So hopefully in a couple of episodes time that'll be ready to sell or use depending on what we do. Now as you'll know if you've watched the previous episodes I've already cut this field just over here which is not a very good quality field actually. Uh, it's very good for placing a sheep pasture or maybe some pigs or cows. Uh, that one over there was cut as well. It's a very high quality field. In fact, that should probably be fertilized at some point. And we do have another field just beyond as well. And of course we have the arable field too. Now I would imagine that the arable field is going to have to be fertilized once again. I think it's probably going to be at the time for the second application. It is, yes, except for the, um, the outside piece here, which probably still yeah it should still work because it has changed its growth stage since the previous application so yeah with this that crop here will be destroyed by the tires if I drive on here without row crop tires but that's fine um, because I'm really looking to have some tram lines and stuff so this could make it look very realistic so let's go and grab the sprayer and we're going to go and spray the field and that will be the second application of fertilizer two out of two so that would be 100% more productive than it could have been uh, for the fertilizer but then of course there's other things like lime and also periodic plowing that field hasn't been spread with lime or well, and it hasn't been plowed so uh, it's definitely not going to be a hundred percent better than it could be it's just going to be you know 100% better for the fertilizer if that makes any sense at all so it probably in the end it would be 70% more productive than it could be. I've probably just explained that in a very, very confusing way. I know what I'm talking about, believe it or not, but uh, yes, I know, I know. It, it sounds like I haven't got a clue. It's just a bit more difficult to explain than I thought. Anyway, yes, if you can uh, put up with me, let's continue. It's actually really rough around here. And as we know, because the, uh, the sprayer is very wide, this is going to take just a matter of minutes. So that should be destroying the crop. Yes, it is. Uh, which means it's very important for me to stay in line. Otherwise, it's going to look incredibly messy. Okay, that's interesting. That's better. Hmm. I was looking for tram lines, not like just plowing through it. I think my wheels might be the wide tyres, potentially. Now I'm not too sure. But that is very destructive. That looks okay. Okay, well, um, it's just the way it is, clearly. I haven't properly used crop destruction in 19 before. I thought they might have perfected the destroying of crops in the middle, but it looks like you have to be positioned perfectly for it to work. If it was like that, that would be really good. But it seems to just select the entire area every now and then. Okay, well, that's how it is. I think in future I'm not going to do it this way then. We'll just have to get some row crop tyres. I was looking for a bit of realism. And finally, just over here. I suppose it doesn't look too bad. Could have been much worse. Could have been much better. Good. Well, at least it's the correct width. It is taking in the correct amount every time. So there's no overlapping. Okay. Right, there we go. Uh, now I did just explain that the grass fields which we have do need to be fertilised. That is of course with the exception of the one which we cut before, because that one is going to be cultivated uh, for an arable field. It's going to be converted to an arable field. So this field down the bottom here, which is actually a really big field, is the one which we need to fertilise for grass. So um, yes, the vote was to to cultivate it. This is the interactive series. That is what the audience wants. So that's what we're going to do. And as I've explained before, um, it's essentially two episodes for one day. One in-game day. It's very rough. 
It's a good way of testing the suspension. And yes, it's a, it's very rough. Um, anyway, we should see on the minimap that is now totally fertilized. Let's take a look here. It should be the darkest blue. Yep, okay, you can see a few pieces that I missed, unless that's just where the tram lines are. Back through the water. It's always fun driving through here. I don't know what it is about it, it's just tempting to uh, floor it when you get to the water. So we'll take the sprayer off, we'll put it just over here, near the shed, and then... I think the best thing to do is to use the same tractor. We'll use this tractor on a cultivator. Now, of course, using a mod which was released uh, fairly recently, actually, on ModHub, you can use a cultivator to plow a field. So this is basically just to change the field from grass to a crop. Now, it might be that you can do it without a mod, possibly, because if that's not actually just recognized as a piece of land, if it is actually recognized as a field, which I think it is, um, potentially, then you don't necessarily have to have the mod. But I'm going to download it anyway, just in case, to save the embarrassment. Now, I think we do have a cultivator. Let's just take a look. It's nothing too big, as you can see. Uh, it is actually three meters, which is very similar to a plow. I'm sure we can afford to just get something a little bit bigger because cultivators aren't that expensive although when you look at it in in person it's not quite as small as I expected let's just take a look here so uh, cultivators I guess actually yeah, you can use subsoils as well could do okay yeah actually that's quite expensive yeah I am Fairly shocked by the prices. Uh, if only we had some used equipment. Anyway, mustn't get onto that again. I do tend to mention that nearly every single episode. Uh, so yeah, this co this cultivator will do because we can't really afford to get anything larger. So I'm just going to go and sort out the mod, and then I'll be back. That is everything sorted. Now you may be interested in the two cultivators which I just downloaded. Uh, I'd love to say purchase, but no. Uh, this one here is actually very good, 7.8 meters for just £25,000. Uh, that is actually a potential one to get. I could get it, we've got the horsepower required for it. This one here is 13,800 and it is one meter wider than the one that we currently have. Again, it requires 150 horsepower. You can choose jaggeded, jaggeded, jagged, <laughs> jagged discs or uh, smooth, depending on what you need to do with it. Uh, so that is actually a, a real consideration, it would cost me in the region of £20,000 because we do have the 5000 from the current one. But I think, instead of just jumping into it, I'm going to go and test it first just to see how daunting the job is and if it just appears it's going to take forever, we can definitely consider changing it in the future because it's going to be used so much. It's going to be used very often. I can already see it's quite a, a big job here. So allow create fields. I think. Yep, that's everything. So this potentially is much faster than using a plow uh, because of the working width, but of course with this one I think the speed might be faster, but the working width is the same. Uh, if nothing else is, it's actually really good to mark the boundaries. We can do the borders with something much smaller. Uh, it should technically be fairly accurate. I'm really hoping the field behind us looks okay. Yeah, from this angle it looks fine. It's just the spraying that we've just done. I think we're going to have to stick with using row crop tyres. I should check, actually, and just see if I have got wide tyres on this tractor. They don't look particularly wide, but if I did just spray with wide tyres, then that would explain the issue. Let's take a look. Is it a large tractor? Uh, nope, it is a medium tractor. So, I guess I could go in the garage. I don't know. I think I'll have to put it into the workshop and find out. They didn't look wide. I, I would call them standard, but 
We will see. I may well have specified wide. Anyway, I'm going to get this done. We're going to go around the headland and put the markings in. It is a fairly big field. But I might be able to do it with a time lapse, possibly. Um, we shall see. It would be cheaper not to get another cultivator, but it would be definitely much slower if I don't. And as I've mentioned, in the future when I have harvested the field, I still have to cultivate the same area again, and it would be nice to have something a bit bigger. We have the tractor, so yeah, it would make sense to have something larger. But if I can sell the fermented silage, we're going to have so much money. Because there is quite a bit there. That is the field boundary almost marked out. Let's get back to the beginning. And there we go. So that wasn't too painful. I'd like to work up and down the field instead of just going around the border. Um, but it just depends what is fastest, really. I don't want to spend forever doing this. We also have to drill it. So, yeah, we, we must get it done relatively quickly. And I do also want to go and spray the grass field as well, if that is possible. It might not necessarily be possible, but it's worth a try. Well, this is definitely making short work of it. It's also a very decent mod, possibly slightly out of scale. Uh, it might be just a bit too big. Uh, it doesn't look too bad when it's unfolded, but when it's folded up, it does seem extremely large. But then again, maybe it just is. I really don't know. It had good reviews. Anyway, um, or good rating. Let's just continue. You can see the size difference between this and the previous one. There is a piece that it did. And I think. It's about, well, it's just over twice the size, I think. Maybe almost three times. But the new Holland enjoying it, really. It could do with a slightly heavier weight on the front. But overall, very good. And I don't regret buying it at all. I'm very pleased that we did upgrade. Some of you might think, well, this is ridiculous. You just spent another £25,000. You only have £10,000 left. Yep, I did do. But the silage is fermenting, and it is going to be ready very soon. So, um, yeah, I'm not really worried. There should be so much money in the silage. Hopefully. But we'll see. It's obviously not like FS15 where the silage was worth about a million pounds for every 1,000 litres. No, that would be extreme. 100,000 litres. Um, but it's still not too bad. The price is still fairly good. Right, so I think yep, that area is done looks good. Should be a really good arable field. Obviously we do need grass as well but that is still two thirds of grass left. We've got the one over the top there and the lower pasture. Now is this going to be a perfect fit past the drain? I think we're going to have to just overlap. I don't want to go too close. Close enough. Yep, so I'm just going to continue and we should be done in a couple of minutes. It actually looks okay, the tram lines in that field. I was looking for it to look realistic. Not too bad. Right, it's going to be an annoying width, but that's fine because we do need to come back this way anyway. Uh, and then we're going to call this field finished or cultivated. Uh, it's going to be probably a cereal crop because uh, it would be nice to get some more straw and what we can do, because we do have the uh, loading wagon 
is actually pick up the straw with that and sell it straight away. Instead of doing any baling, it's quite a good way of making some fast money and it's obviously really, it really is fast because we don't have to do any of the baling and loading up of the bales and then transporting the bales, you just pick it up, take it to the sell point and you're done. It's a good width. <laughs> just as I say it, a piece gets missed. Well that's fine. Uh, let's head back and just tidy things up. I'm aware of the piece over there. Otherwise, it looks quite neat. Okay, so there's two little specks of grass. They don't really matter, it just looks a bit messy. So, as we've got the cultivator here, it makes sense to get rid of them. And next time, once this field has been harvested, it won't have the uh, create field option switched on, it should be limited to fields. Now, yeah, this is my point about it being looking oversized. It, it just looks really tall. I think that's what it is. It's just very tall. It's a fairly lightweight piece of equipment. There's no discs on it. It's just these harrows. Where to put it, though? We do have the workshop. It would... Actually, it probably wouldn't fit in the workshop looking at the height. I think we'll keep it back here. Seems like a fairly quiet area. But it's done a good job. Pretty sure we have to unfold it too. Okay, that's fine. Now to attach to the sprayer. I do need to just make sure that you can do this, but the only way of really finding out is by trialling it. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, then, well, really, we just come back and do something else. Already got plenty of liquid fertiliser in there. I might be able to access that field from this direction. Possibly. But I don't really know the entrance to it. I know that through here you can access this field and the field we've just been in from the road. But, yeah, as for the other one, maybe there is another access point off the road. Oh, yes, there is. Okay, that's good just here. It's a bit overgrown, that could be sorted out a bit, but yep, here we are. So the only way of really finding out is if it's going to work is by spraying a bit and then checking out the, uh, the map. It's a bit too close. Okay. There we go. Just a very small section. I don't think it's working. It looks like it's not changing colour. But we can find out. Yeah, it's not doing anything. Okay, so what can we do? I think the only way you can sort that is by actually ploughing the land and sort of turning it into a field. I think. So it looks like it is just a piece of grass, but of course I could be wrong. I don't really do this very often, the creation of fields and also uh, spraying grassland. So if you have any more information for me, I'd love to know. But I'm, I'm fairly sure it has to be an actual field, a recognised field with a number for, the, for you to be able to do that properly. Okay, well that is that done. I suppose what we could do is go and mow that other field. I think mowing it would be a good idea. We use the fence. Because that fence is still going to be used quite a bit, despite not being the main tractor. And I don't really want to put all the hours on the new Hond. So far it's got 1.9 hours, so not a great deal. And somebody did notice that we need to change the air intake, because as you can see, it's actually going through the pipe, just there, on the right hand side of the loader, uh, so it would be a wise idea to change that. We may even get some money back, possibly, I think it could have been a, a more expensive option. Long air filter, short air filter, okay we have to pay for it, oh okay, well we're going to have to do it because otherwise it's going to be very frustrating to look at, so that's better. It's a shame we did have to pay for it. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, yes, the mower. 
the mower has been put in I think it's in the barn over here if I just back up we should see it over in one of these doorways of course there are now some doors on here I'm sure they weren't on here before there it is if they were they were permanently open Right, yeah, so let's go down to the field. Get it cut. And then I think the next interactive vote is going to be what to do with the grass. Uh, the options are going to be to just pick up the grass as it is and then sell it. Uh, we could also have cut it, ted it and row it and then sell it as hay. And finally, keep it as grass, pick it up and put it into another silage pit because we do have another silage pit to create silage. Of course we do so have the uncertain issue of whether we can sell the silage over at the barn because it might have to be in a bale but I don't know. Just going to have to keep trying different things. So let's crack on. It's a fairly rectangular field, in fact it's perfectly rectangular. Possibly slightly smaller than that field just there that we just cultivated. There is another access point to that field. Interesting to know where the different entrances are. There's another one over there as well. I don't think we own the bottom field. I'm fairly sure the one just beyond here is not ours, but I will check because if it is ours, then that needs to be dealt with it as well. Once to get around the corner, we can check. Okay, so technically think we're on the edge of our land. Okay, so we do own it. Wow. I'm surprised. So we own that field too. This is good. For some reason, every episode I seem like I, I have more land. We seem to keep gaining land without me noticing. Uh, so that is technically field number five, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have five fields. That's not bad to start off with. Plus we have the yard. Anyway, the way I'm going to do this is basically to go back around the other way, so we get right to the edges. There's a ditch there, which I've just noticed at the last second. I wonder if they're going to have water in eventually, because of course this map is still work in progress. Looking very good though. The birds are here. Anyway, yep, like I say, we are going to do a quick time-lapse here. Well, of course it's going to be a quick time-lapse, that's what a time-lapse is. And I will see you in a minute. That is the main piece of the field done, of course we do still have the outside. I don't think there's a great deal just here because it is next to the ditch like I say, so fairly close to the edge anyway. Um, but as we go down the other side and obviously coming back around over there, there should be a fair piece, a, a fair chunk of the field which has been missed because of the way I had to drive originally. So that's quite good, yeah we're taking in almost a full mile's width. I did also notice that the oilseed rape crop as well has turned yellow, so it's now in flower, uh, which looks very nice, very pretty. We'll get right up close to it in a second. And um, yes, obviously we'll do we'll do the vote. The vote will be at the top right hand corner of the screen. I think it's a little eye, is it? A little eye in a circle, uh, which you have to press to open the poll. Anyway, there is the oilseed rape field. 
Looking very pretty indeed. Okay, so we've got some bushes here. I think it's just going to flatten those and then they'll spring back up. We can just mow through it. Um, but no, that's good. That, that's quite a bit of progress for today. We've managed to get that field cultivated. It can be drilled next time. Uh, putting in the cereal crop, hopefully, certainly at this rate, we're going to be harvesting the field over there very soon as well. So that's going to be some income. We already have the combine. We already have the trailer. So that's everything we need for that. Um, so hopefully by the end of the next episode we should have in the region of it's very hard to predict how much we're going to make off the canola but I would say £20,000 if I was to have a guess but I really don't know anyway let's take this back park it over here this field is regrowing but yes like I say I think the majority of this field is going to be the sheep pasture the sheep did win the vote so when we can afford it we're going to put a sheep pasture in and buy some sheep i should probably put the mower back in the shed and we'll finish off by checking the new holland's wheels how exciting yes i just want to see uh, basically if i bought y tires because then it's my fault for doing the spraying with the y tires if they're standard then um yes they really should have just missed the crop in the middle and destroyed the crop where the wheels were running. But we'll see. We'll see who was at fault here. Probably me, to be fair. It usually is. Okay, so let's see what it says. Customize. It is on. Wide tyres and weights. Seriously. Yep, so I should have been on at least, well, certainly narrow size, but at least standard. They just don't look, they don't really don't look much more, much chunkier. Um, if you look between them, they are, they are bigger, they're definitely bigger. So there you go, my fault, Giants, you're fine, uh, your crop destruction is good. Um, I have made the mistake of spraying with some wide tyres on. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.